We're in Chongqing in southwest China, one of China's four national central cities. And behind me is Jiefangbei, the Liberation Monument, which remembers the city's role during the War of Resistance against Japanese aggression. And surrounding this historical monument is Chongqing CBD, the central business district. So I'm going to go have a look around. I don't know about you, but I'm a bit tired. So I got over my tiredness and I managed to make it to Hongyan Tun or Hongyan Village, one of the most famous locations on the red tourism route. And that's what we're talking about today, red tourism, hence why I've worn my red, left it in the bus. Forget it, we'll just forget it, we'll keep going. But anyway, we're talking about red tourism, a fairly new trend where people visit spots and locations linked to China's revolution and war period. So you get to mix red historic figures, cultural heritage with beautiful green landscapes. But why is this place so famous? Well, during the war, the wartime capital of China relocated from Nanjing to Chongqing at the end of 1937. And the communist leadership was based right here in Hongyan village. Now, why is it called Hongyan village? Well, Hong means red. It's got nothing to do with red tourism. It refers to the red shale upon which the village is built. Actually, red tourism is a little bit misleading because this place is so green. Although, it is red, historically speaking. And this is the Hongyan Revolutionary Memorial Hall. It was built in 1958 and it actually incorporates a building used by the communist leadership during the war and it commemorates the activities of the communists prior to national liberation in 1949. And despite the fact that I am a history graduate, I'm probably not the person to teach you about Chinese history. Uh, but there is one thing that I'm a bit more familiar with. And that's food. I'm not an expert, but I do like it. And seeing as we're in Chongqing, what else am I going to eat other than Chongqing hot pots? And where am I going to eat it? How about in an old air raid shelter, otherwise known as Dongzhuogu, or a cave hot pot restaurant? They're dotted around the city, and they're the best place to find authentic Chongqing hot pot. Now, the dish originated here in Chongqing. It's around about 100 years old. And most importantly of all, it's hot. And when I say hot, I mean mind-numbingly spicy. Now, the full Chinese name for this dish is Ma Lao Hugo, which means numb and spicy hot. Now, I've got all the ingredients here. We've got stomach, um, intestines, eel, bean sprouts, beef, tofu, and fish bladder, which I've never tried before. Now, if you haven't had this dish before, just, just think of it something a bit like fondue, just without the, uh, the cheese or the bread, and instead with raw meats and an incredibly spicy soup, so in fact it's nothing like fondue. Okay, so you basically flash cooking the meat here, put it in my garlic and oil accompaniment and... <laughs> Delicious! Oh, that is hot! So every compartment of the hot pot you can put the, the food in each one, so I'm going to put the fish bladders in. Never eaten these before, so not sure what those are going to taste like. Let's put the, uh, the chang, the, or the, the intestines, in another. Not my favourite dish, that is. Next, the stomach. Mmm, stomach. And the shan yu, or the eel. It's very bloody. And now the boring stuff. Bon appetit! Is that, is that ready? It's very rubbery. <coughs> it's <coughs> super spicy. 
So the stomach was, well, I mean, it just tasted very spicy. My lips are basically numb now. This is the, um, the fish bladder, which doesn't, it doesn't look appetizing, but I'm very sure it is. Here we go. Oh, lovely. Oh. And now uh, I'm looking for, there we go. Here's the, the intestine. Uh, that's been boiling for a long time, so it's gonna be extra spicy. Whew. The fish bladder, by the way, also a little bit rubbery. Felt as if the air went out a bit. Intestine, much easier. Very chewy consistency. Quite hard to bite through. Oh, it's good though. It's cleaning my sinuses. Oh, and then we've got gong tai, which is a, a kind of preserved cabbage. Oh, as the more you eat, the easier it gets. I got a lovely peppercorn in that as well. A lovely citron peppercorn. Yeah, it's good. All on my lips. This is Velada. Not Zhongla, not Zuila. Vela, which means the least spicy. And it's already way, way too spicy. <coughs> this isn't like fondue at all. This is like fondue went to the X Games and won all the gold medals and, and all the silvers and bronzes. Eel, Shanyu, a favourite of mine when I eat Japanese food. This isn't unagi, this is a different type of eel. Very nice, again, all I can taste is blinding pain. <coughs> if you've got cold, I highly recommend you come to Chongqing to cure it. <coughs> I'm done. Just blew all the <laughs> chili smoke into my mouth. Oh, this has been boiling for so long. It's gonna be so spicy. <laughs> Bloody hell. Hold on, look at that. Look at that! That's a fish bladder. Helps it float. I've already eaten one. I shan't be eating another. Pull that back. Everyone's photos on the wall, but no one in the photos is sweating. So they, they must have taken them before they started eating the hot pot. That's the only explanation. And that's it, my hot pot, my Chongqing hot pot adventure is over. <coughs> and if this was a computer game, I'd probably be hearing the following words. You have failed. And the Chinese communist leadership was relocated from Nanjing refers to the red shale upon the bin. Well, but it doesn't refer to the red tourism.